Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike here from AX Garage. Welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you go down there and hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification. And today we have one of 10 1996 Acura NSX in the shop. Let's take a closer look. All right, John, tell me more about this special car. One of 10, about what? So the cool thing about NSX is, is that they're available in a bunch of different colors. And some colors are more popular than others, but every one of the cars built has been documented. And so if you do a little research, I think they call it NSX Wiki. You can go on there and look at all the different, you know, trims that were made, interior, exterior wise. Targa, automatic, coupes, all that is documented. So this one is, uh, what is it called, uh, Midnight Pearl. It's a really awesome deep purple color with the black interior option. So in this year, there are only 10 made um, in manual and three automatic in this color combination. So this is pretty, pretty rare. It's one of the more rare colors. I think I've only seen one other purple NSX in my time in South Florida. So. Definitely pretty special that way. This one was recently bought off of Bring a Trailer. Uh, so we know all the heritage on it. There are two previous owners. The second owner only had the car for six or seven months. Now it's with our new owner. The owner of this car has a green 94 NSX and also a new NC1 in white. So he's definitely a Honda lover, Acura lover, and today, we're gonna go ahead and help out with the modifications because everyone wants to go ahead and make their car their own. So what we have here is the KW Variant 3. This is probably one of the better suspensions we've installed. We installed these on a, one other NSX, two other NSXs here, and no one has ever complained. Ride quality is above all. They're also pretty expensive in comparison to other suspensions. But that's what we're putting on today. This will give the car a little bit better look to go with his BC forged wheels that he just had custom made for the car as well. So these are the KW V3s. Um, they're a really nice design. Uh, so what you can see here is that they have helper springs here to help improve the ride. This is our height adjustability. They have full dampening control at the top and they also have something called bump control. Um, I'm not 100% on what exactly that changes, but there are instructions with this and videos online that help describe some of that. There is a base setting that is in the instructions that we're gonna set it to on the last couple cars we worked on. It worked out perfectly, and the customer was really happy with the ride. So we'll go and install these at this preset height. Um, what you can also see too is we have to swap over the top hats from the stock suspension onto these. Uh, so once we get them out of the car, we'll have to take the struts over to the spring compressor to remove the top hats. Then we can go ahead and put the top hats on these installed in the car, adjust it, align it, car's on its way. All 
All right, so there's not a whole lot to do up top here. This three little plugs here gives us access to the upper strut mounts. So we're just gonna pop these off, then we're gonna get the wheels off. And so when we're ready, we can go ahead and remove the strut from the body. So Ryan, so this is Midnight Pearl. What do you say about this? So smooth, though. It is absolutely stunning. I'm not sure if it has any metallic, but it, it does look like it's got a little bit of a pearl to it, like you said. And for a 96, this looks like, if it's not original, this paint on this car is flawless and beautiful. I can really admire it, especially on a lift. You can see all the flaws and there's not any. All right, so we have our front struts disassembled. The goal is to get our top hats to install on the aftermarket struts. So we got everything off. Pull that bad boy apart just like that. I think we're gonna go ahead and try and pull this rubber insulator out. All right, so we're gonna swap over this washer onto here, we'll have this go right on there. We have a little double-sided stick here. Hey, John, I gotta say, huh? is it dual springs? Yes, it is what is called a helper spring, and that helps take up the slack in the suspension and also give it a little bit different spring rate. Very nice. Nothing better. We have our first nut down that tightened it in. This has a second locking nut. Our factory nut is a nylock nut or a pinch, so it will actually lock itself. This is a little different, so it uses two nuts to lock it into place. So we'll snug, snug the second one down. It 
So now we have the fronts fully assembled. We're gonna go ahead and install them in the car. Once we have all four of the coilovers installed, we'll lower the car down at this height, then we'll start making our adjustments. All right, so we got the front all bolted in. Now we gotta get to the rear. It's not that complicated, but we do have to remove this duct because if you can see under here, the strut is located underneath it. So to give us easier access, I like to remove this. This already has the um, coil saver guard on here. So it's not too big of a deal for us to remove. So we can get to the screws. First thing we gotta do is open the trunk. And that gives us access to our screws here and over there. So let's go ahead and get this out and you'll see a little better. So as you can see, we have a lot better access to the bolts here. So it's just these three bolts. Then we drop the strut out. We will show you on the bottom what we have to take off in order to get the strut out. All right, so now we're ready for the lower part in the rear. Pretty simple setup, one bolt holds it in place, but what's interesting enough is it's actually the sway bar end link is the bolt for the strut. So what I like to do on these because this bolt is so long is I disconnect the sway bar link from the sway bar, then I disconnect the bolt from the bottom of the strut, pull the bolt out, one, two, three, super easy on our way. call them. I've been trying to save tech line for, you know what I mean? All right, so just like we did on the front struts, we're gonna do on the rear.
next stop. So we have everything installed and it's set at the factory specs. Everything's still loose on here. So we're gonna go ahead, put all the wheels on it, lower it down, see where we're at, then make our adjustments from there. All right, so this is the suspension unadjusted the way it came out the box. The front is pretty, looks pretty good. The back looks about what it did when it came in. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust the back down and see how the front looks and when it's, it's all adjusted. So let's go ahead and start that. Damn, John, I think we're looking good right there. Oh, let's see. We're going to take the tape measure out, measure it, make sure both sides match. All right, so everything is adjusted right where we want it. Last thing we have to do is get inside here and lock down the adjusting cuffs. It's this little Allen key right there. It's kind of hard to see but it's right there and our toolkit came with the tool for it. Once we have it locked down, alignment, this thing's gone. All right, so we got the car up on the rack and we're gonna start adjusting. You've seen us do this on a couple videos, but we're gonna go over it pretty briefly again. So we're gonna do our camber adjustment. This is our camber adjustment here. Then this is our toe adjustment over here. So we're gonna adjust our camber. We're not gonna be able to get it in the green. That's not our goal. Our goal is to set it to the least amount possible and then match the other side to it. So we have even wear and no weird pulling.
Hey guys, just like that, very long night for us. KW V3 coilovers, four wheel alignment, and that must need a test drive. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, after that test drive, feeling how my NSX feels with the Tane Monos compared to this V3s, my suspension is good, but this is just a different level of comfort with that nice sporty feel too. Even though it's pricey, I think it's totally worth it. It's definitely worth it. If you're gonna be driving a car like this and you wanna enjoy that feeling, I think that V3 is probably right where it's at. Uh, I wanna say thank you to Science of Speed for getting it for us. Only people that had it in stock in the country, really nice. We're going through a very, very tough time right now. Seems like the whole entire world is on back order. Yeah, that's it. Everything's on back order. <laughs> Everyone's gotta wait. And guys, we're gonna wrap this video up. If you guys like what you see, make sure you give us that thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel. My name is Mike and I got John right over there behind for AXC Garage. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week.